this is going to be my first video. And basically what I want to do is I want to set up a series of videos that's going to show you how to do uh, various primitive skills, how to uh, apply survival techniques and things like that. Now a lot of this stuff is uh, stuff I've already made and uh, I've been doing this for a while. I haven't made any videos yet. But I'm going to show you some of the stuff I've made and some of the stuff I carry so you can see some of the equipment. Now, a pair of good sunglasses is always great to have in Texas. Another thing is duct tape. You can see I've used this quite a bit. Duct tape can be used for all types of things from uh, tape to band-aids. You can make cordage with it. You can do a lot of things with duct tape. Everyone knows that. My favorite type of cordage is catfish line. This stuff is valuable. It's got tar covering on it. Now this is the lighter one. I think it's a 110 pound test. You can get it at Walmart for maybe three or four bucks, something like that. And uh, it's triple ply or triple strand, which means uh, it's made of three separate cords that are twined together and they make one cord. You can use this for shot lines. You can use this for tying off things. You can take apart the strands and if you have a heavy duty needle with a large eye you can sew with it. You can repair your clothing, you can repair your shelter materials, you can repair things that uh, that will help you survive out in the wild. Now you can also do uh, projects out in the wild with a big needle and some catfish line. Some people call it bank line. Uh, I like to also carry leather thread. Now I paid about nine, ten bucks for this bull leather thread about four years ago, and I have used the crap out of it. Now, I've got a needle in here that's surrounded by bamboo that's wrapped in duct tape. Let me just take this apart. Now I've got it wrapped with ranger bands to keep it on there, and I'm just going to go over each part of this. These ranger bands are made from bicycle inner tube. I just cut them and you can use them for all types of things. It's very valuable and if you have a bicycle you're going to get these for free anyway because your bicycle is going to get a flat from time to time that you're not going to be able to repair. Now I paid nine to ten bucks for this spool about four years ago and I sew things all the time. I make my own web gear, I repair my own clothing and you can see it's not even half gone. Four years. So it's worth it. This stuff is extremely strong. This will hold better than any of that other cheap thread that you're going to get. And I just have a uh, basic heavy duty needle in here that uh, I don't need, uh, uh, what do you call those, needle threaders for. I can do it by eye. i got a piece of bamboo that's cut off at the, uh, the node. So I can put this in there, or I can put it in this way, and it's wrapped in duct tape. And I just put that needle, let me do it from there, put the needle down there. I put the ranger band on there. Careful not to mess up your thread. There, that way that holds it. I'll put this right there. And that pretty much holds it together. I haven't quite got a really good carry option for this except inside of one of those plastic containers that has the, uh, the different compartments in it uh, that they use for fishing and for arts and crafts and stuff like that. Now, another good thing that you want to have on you. Now, I, I'm going to tell you, the best way to purify water, and water is going to be the most important thing. Without water, you're going to die in two to three days. In Texas, that's going to be very serious because there's not a lot of water. I carry water purification towels with me, but these are not the best thing to use. These are for an emergency in case I can't boil my water. Best thing to do is filter your water through a cloth and then boil it. You don't have to boil it for 20 minutes, you just have to bring it to a rolling boil here at this altitude. It depends on what altitude you're at, how long you have to boil it for. 
uh, all you restaurant people, you should uh, remember your danger zone. You want to keep it outside of the danger zone, basically. Now, I carry a signal on the device. This is a whistle. This is a Fox 40. This is the same whistle that referees and umpires use. It's the same whistle that cops use. It's a very loud whistle. Not very expensive. You can buy them at Walmart. All right. Another good cordage is paracord. Uh, this used to be a thousand foot, and uh, I like to keep track of how much I use right here. Uh, I haven't kept track of all of it, but uh, it's probably less than 200 feet by now, if that. And you can make all types of things with paracord. It's not as viable as catfish line, though. Uh, one of the things you can make is a survival bracelet. This is a double Solomon bar, and I just got a standard. Uh, uh, lash right there and the reason I have a standard one instead of those curved bracelet ones is because I can use this to repair my web gear in case one of my uh, uh, lashes breaks. There won't be a curved one on there. Another good thing you can carry with you is zip ties. These are awesome. Very quick. You can make shelters with them. You can repair your gear. You can do all types of things with this stuff. If you're not going to carry it with you, I still recommend you keep it at the house for preparing your gear. Another thing that's really easy to carry and it's going to be very viable is this is a, a trash bag. It's a two mil uh, construction grade trash bag. Uh, sometimes in places you can get three mil contractor bags. It's a very thick 55 gallon drum liner is what it is. Now you can do a lot with this. You can use it for shelter, you can use it for rain gear, you can use it for a container to carry water or dirt or whatever you need. And you can fold it up and it'll fit in your back pocket. Now combine one or two of these with the emergency hooded poncho and an emergency survival blanket and you can uh, with that and some duct tape and some paracord, you can actually put together a shelter. Not too long. In less time than it would take you to build a natural shelter. Alright, that's going to be the end of this video. It's just the first introduction. Uh, I've, got, I've got a lot of gear here I'm going to go over and uh, some different skills that uh, I want to teach you. And once I start filming some of these videos and I have a location, then, uh, then uh, I'm going to teach you some more advanced skills out in the bush. For now, I have what I have.